Hello everyone and welcome to the grand tournament where we are gonna be seeing 16 heroes fighting against each other. We have four commanders, namely Liu Bei, Cao Cao, Yuan Shao and Sun Quan. Then we also have four vanguards with the warrior without equal Lu Bu, Ma Chao, Shang Fei and Sun Tzu. Then for the champions, we have Shu Shu, the very infamous warrior as it seems. Then we have Xia Hudun, the a man who also fights for Cao Cao. Furthermore, we have Sheng Yang, the warrior queen, the bandit queen that is, very dangerous. And also the god of war, Guan Yu. And then for the last part, we have four sentinels, namely uh, Tai Shi Se, Shang Liao, Xiao Yun, and Huang Song. And you probably already know the rules of how a tournament uh, is. They face against each other uh, in one duel, and then the one who wins uh, goes to the next round, while the other one just gets executed and will not be uh, seen in the tournament again. And then I'm not really certain if I want to do a loser's bracket or if I'll just show who wins. I'm not sure. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so this battle is pretty much straightforward. We have Liu Bu versus Liu Bei. And I think we all should know who wins this one. Liu Bu is the famous warrior and he should probably be able to take out Liu Bu. Although he just used the ability which gives him melee evasion and increases his melee attack rate. Lu Bu is still much stronger in general. So I would be very surprised if Liu Bei actually ends up winning this. But here we see some great throws already. Oh what the f what happened to the health bar? Lu Bu, you are in danger. I don't know what just happened. But uh, this is very interesting now. Liu Bei could actually end up winning this. Oh wait, he did! What? Liu Bu! Liu Bu, you, you just lost to Liu Bei! Oh my god. This is not gonna go the way I think. Or the way I thought at least. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Now for Xu Xu and Machao, who is gonna win? Although we we know uh, Xu Xu is probably the strongest uh, non uh, yellow turban general in the game, Machao is actually known to be almost as strong as Lu Bu. Well, they weren't comparable because the the the, t the time we saw him in the, the TV show was actually after Lu Bu was dead. But if we look at the health bar right now, it's already going into Shu Shu's favor by quite a lot, actually. I don't think Machao will get the upper hand in this one. We're probably gonna see the guy here on the left actually uh, take this as a victory. Only a tiny bit left, and he just, well, just pushes him, and uh, yeah, he gets down. Shu Shu, you won this one. All right, here we go. The master versus his best lieutenant, I think. Or at least one of them. Cao Cao versus Shang Liao. One of my personal favorites. And here we see him already kicking twice, as well as getting in some nice blows. Both very famous warriors, or at least one of them is. The other one is just a, well, a great commander and strategist. But uh, Shang Liao was actually a very good friend of uh, Guan Yu, who also is a very famous warrior. He is actually known as the God of War, so uh, yeah, maybe he have learned some tricks here and there. But let's find out. They both have some very interesting abilities. Whereas for Shang Liao, it uh, increases his melee evasion and melee attack rate. Whereas for... Uh, Cao Cao, it only increases his speed as well as morale, which is actually not needed here. 
But if we look at the health bar now, we see that the South South's health is actually all the way down to below 20%. While Shang Liao's health bar is between... is just a bit above 50. 50, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. But this is probably the end of Sao Sao. Can we at least get a nice uh, execution here from uh, right now? I mean, he is still alive. He's doing a great job, actually. But they are very tired. And there we go. Just getting destroyed. If I had the Blood and Gore mod, his head would be off right now. But I don't have it. So we'll just have to move on to the next battle again. Okay, so welcome to the battle between my most favorite hero, Taishi Se over here with his uh, very great bow. And is she actually able to shoot from here? He is. And he uses his ability, which uh, I think, let's see here, it was... I think he used Venom Strike and now he uses Hail of Arrows, which he uses to try and take out Xiao Dun, which is also a very good hero. He's a bit better in combat while Taishi Se is better in distance, which he uses to maximum potential. He's just keep he keeps on shooting and actually don't actually go into a, a straight up duel. They just fight each other like this. And what's this? Oh, I can't see it. Right now, none of them have actually lost that much health. They're just running around each other. I don't know what they're doing. Please take each other out. Get into combat. There we go. And as you say, he starts to shoot again. While Shahudan uses a very great attack that I think that was Binding Fury. But now that they have finally entered a uh, close combat, we see that Tashi Se have lost a bit more health, whereas uh, Shahudan is still very healthy. But Tashi Se can still shoot at him. Because they are not in the duel, I think. But currently they are just running around each other. Very interesting. Oh no no no, Shahudan, he, he's shaken. It's because he's taking so much damage. This means that he- Oh, he's wavering as well! Oh my god, Tashi Se, he's winning! Oh, he flees now, he flees! It's over! He routes! He's trying to escape while Tashi Se is really gonna try to shoot him down from distance. With his uh, abilities, but uh... This is the end, so uh, Tashi Se, you won this battle! Now let's go over to the other side and see who also we will get to the quarterfinals. Okay, here we go. Shang Yang versus Xiao Yun. Who is going to win this? One of uh, Liu Bei's most reliable Tiger Generals versus the infamous Bandit Queen, who's standing up to uh, throw her ability. That's uh, her poison dagger, I think. And it's going to be very helpful. We, we already see that, uh, that uh, Xiao Yun's health bar is going down really quickly. And this is before he actually was able to uh, use his, uh, his melee evasion to anything. So that was a very important hit from uh, Shang Yang. She also used Binding Fury just to uh, take off a bit more health. And it's really in Shang Yang's favor now. Xiao Yun is down to half his health. This could go in direction. Because Xiao Yun is a really strong commander and duelist. So he might just be able to survive for long enough to actually uh, just pimp off a bit of health here and there for long enough to, so, he should, so she actually uh, might crumble and die. Okay, so it's really down to the brink of our teeth now. It's really close. The great advantage Sheng Yang had from the start has actually just gone in an instant. Xiao Yun is really holding his own here. He is unbreakable, as well as his elemental vigor has actually increased by quite a lot. As well as his uh, adamant resolve has also increased. But Shen Yan's tenacity of steel is at its peak right now. Which means that this could go anyway. It's actually in Xiao Yun's favor right now. Could this be the end? Even though she used her infamous poison dart, which is famous to killing a lot of generals in an instant. She's still losing now. Xiao Yun is pulling this back right now, but it's not over until the old fat lady has sung. 
She even says she's outmatched now. Xiao Yun, you have done great here. Look at that health bar and a great kick as well. Can we see an end to this? Let's not look at the health bar anymore. This is gonna be an interesting fight. Ooh, great combo from Xing Yan. She is still holding on. And that's Binding Fury used and uh. Sha wait, wait. Did you kill him by doing that? Shang Yang, you just took out Xiao Yun with a Binding Fury. Well, that's respectable, but uh, a bit cheeky as well. I think it should have been Xiao Yun, but uh, or Xiao Yu, but uh, still, we have to follow the rules. She emerges victorious, and let's get on with this. Okay, now it's Yuan Shao, our third champion, against Sun Tse, our third vanguard. And here they go, with the joust, and Sun Tse wins this, of course. And currently we have only seen one champion go through, but will Yuan Shao be the second? I would be very surprised, actually not at all anymore, because we saw Liu Bu actually go through. And he was a vanguard against the champion. And this time it's a champion against the vanguard again. Not champion, commander I mean. Did I say champion all along with the Yuan Shao? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot. But as we see right now, the health bar here, it's actually in Sun Tzu's favor. But a small bit because, oh wow, it's actually going down quite a lot now from Yu, for Yuan, Sa, Yuan Shao. I'm sorry. How will this turn out? Oh my god! Both of them lost so much health. It's really in Sun Tzu's favor now. Yuan Shao, you need some health. You even say you're outmatched. This will never go in your favor right now. You are gonna go out right now, I think. Oh god. Yuan Shao. You are just like you were in real life. An incompetent leader. And never had a chance in the world. The health bar is really not in your favor right now. Although you are pulling it back a small bit actually. Since uh, are you going out right now? The little conqueror got taken down. Oh my god, what? You and Shao! You came through! With two commanders in the quarterfinals! What the fuck? Well... This is surely a treat. Okay, this time it's Wang Song versus Shang Fei. Another man. Wait, Wang Song, I mean. He is another man who is also very keen of using the bow rather than his sword. But they go straight into combat, actually. Which is kind of interesting. And here we see uh, Shang Fei just punching Huang Song which uh, is kind of weird actually but I guess he do what he sees fit he is a drunken brawler after all and might very well just know what to do to win this brawl right here just like throwing him over his head like he does right now you could also say that this battle is actually a fight between experience and youth but if we look at the health bar right now it's actually pretty even I would dare to say that it's probably a bit more in the experienced Wang Song's favor rather than uh, Shang Fei's. Although this could go any direction to be honest. Now I actually think it's more in Shang Fei's favor. And he just punches uh, Huang Song. But is that enough? It's really close this one here. But as we saw in the last battle, uh, being in the lead is not does not always mean that you're gonna win. Yu and Xiao pulled it back. Here, it can go either direction, so very soon it might just end. I don't know. Oh my god, they are down to the last few centimeters. Millimeters, even. Wow. Just... Kind of just punching each other. Few strikes here and there. Oh, and here we go. Wang Song took him out. If we had the Blood and Gore DLC on, his head would just have come off there. I would like to have seen that, but uh... Yeah. 
I don't want to get demonetized, although I don't have any uh, commercials running on my videos, so uh, that probably shouldn't have mattered, but uh, let's move on to Guan Yu. Okay, let's see here. Sun Xuan versus Guan Yu. We have seen Sun Tzu be pushed out. The little conger has died, but can Sun Xuan do this? He will eventually become the Emperor of Wu, but can he take on the God of War and also become the Emperor of the Grand Tournament? Or will that be to the Master Duelist? Let's see this. We see the God of War ability being used already and Sun Xuan's health is almost gone. I think we all probably know how this one's gonna turn out. Guan Yu, the very infamous or just famous general, he is just too strong, probably. He keeps on taking out people. He also took out Lu Bu in our, in my actually most viewed video. He was defeated against the Yellow Turbans, as well as Pei Yuan Shao in my last uh, duel video. But, uh,. Maybe he is able to deal with everyone in this tournament here because there is no yellow turbans. And yeah, Sun Xuan is down. Guan Yu moves on to the next round.